I'm Ryan Lari. I'm a technical service representative at Amsoil, and I'm into street rods. looking for a project, looking for a vehicle for, for me to drive in high school. And back then, I mean, everything I thought about was pretty much cars. Whether it was you know, art class in school, that's all I drew was cars. And somehow I try to relate everything back to cars, it seems, in one way or another. <laughs> it always comes back to that. Yeah, we were looking for something a little newer that maybe we wouldn't have to do as much work to, but I thought this was cooler, so. <laughs> There's a 1949 Chevrolet pickup Old trucks just, uh, they got the look. <laughs> I wanted him to drive something cool to school. A little reputation to keep up. Uh, I think he was in ninth grade, started this, and he drove it to school in 10th grade. You know, I wouldn't have been able to do this without him, but yeah, as far as ideas and things, I always consulted him because he's done it his whole life. He'd wake me up. Saturday morning, six o'clock, well, what are we gonna do on it today? You know, like, it wasn't even in my mind to work on it, but I probably thought about it all the time. <laughs> Always wanted to work on it. When we first got it, just started tearing it down, uh, take the front end off, take the box off, just basically had the cab, um, and then just started going to work on it. We obviously wanted to make it modern, make it a comfortable ride, you know, not, not like a 60-year-old truck. So I ended up finding a donor car, uh, which was an 81 El Camino, and he basically cherry-picked everything from it as far as front stub and the rear end, steering column, used a little, quite a few pieces out of it. So you learn quite a bit as far as you know, doing body work, you know, even mechanical aspect. Usually with these, the older trucks, they had chains for tailgates. I didn't really want to do that because usually the chains chip your paint when they're banging around. They make little rubber boots, but we came up with the idea of, of having it open like a door. I don't think I'd ever give up on a project. Um, you know, it's, at times you probably get, it gets tedious and you wonder, you know, is this ever gonna get done? But, you know, I, I knew it would. We just keep looking forward to that day. <laughs> the time that it took to restore it was probably about a year and a half. Having that experience, you know, between fixing this up and just learning how to just work on cars in general, you know, that obviously that makes me interested in that. So that's kind of why I went to Amsoil. You know, I get to talk about cars all day and every day. You know, people that call in with, you know, whatever you know their hobby is, I can more so relate. You know, the type of thing that they're doing because it's what us car people do. <laughs> we occasionally will. You know, look at the pictures. I have pretty much it all documented, the whole process. So, you know, it does come up from time to time. And we'll talk about the whole, the whole build and all the goofy stories. <laughs> the time that, I mean, I was going to school, so he would get some free time, and I think he'd be out here working on it without me. <laughs> so yeah, I remember one time I came home from school and he had already started it for the first time without me being here. It smells like exhaust in here. I got a little bit out of shape about that, but. You know, back when I first got it done, you know, we usually did a lot of car shows. The recent one we went to down at the Duluth Sidewalk Days, uh, it was just my girlfriend and I, we went down there and, and, you know, walked around, checked out other people's cars, and it's usually a pretty good time. Uh, the time we got to spend together, the ideas that we were running back and forth, uh, seeing his creativeness, uh, I think it worked out really well. I'd still like to build another one. I'm sure he would help, you know, at least coming over to to oversee the project, <laughs> make sure I was on the right path. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely something I'd, I'd like to do again. I'm Ryan Lari. I'm a technical service representative at Amsoil, and I'm into street rides. <laughs> <laughs>